Hi guys! Here's a short tutorial how to use our free Photoshop stitch brushes to create any kind of stitch design that you want in Photoshop, which you can then use to texture your 3D clothing in Marvelous Designer or in any other th program where you're creating your 3D clothes. So let's get started with the basics. Here I have my brush preset panel open. Now to load in my custom stitch brushes, we have to go first of all to the brush tool, then you can see the brushes become activated. And then we'll click here and we could say load brushes, which will load them in addition to these existing brushes. We'll add them in the bottom. Or we could say replace brushes. I'm going to say replace brushes because I don't need all of these many brushes here right now. So I'll say replace brushes, find my stitches brushes, double click them, and here are my stitches. Now you can see that some say dynamic on them and some don't. Now what the ones that say dynamic are, if I draw out of them you can see that the stitches are following the path of my pen. If I make it smaller, it looks a bit better. And I could use my pen, my mouse, my tablet and draw out these stitches and they're following it nicely. Now if I take just this plain stitch brush, that's like a stamp brush. If I try to draw out, I just get this white smudge. It's not dynamic, so it's not following the direction of my mouse or of my pen. So this is good if you just want to make one stitch or if you want to make a few, or if you want to create your own dynamic brushes from that. And of course, you can go into the brush panel here to change the direction of your stamp brushes. Alright, so let's see how we can use our dynamic stitch brushes to create a heart. I have here a black layer as my background layer and an empty layer over it. The reason why I have a black layer is because I like to do white stitches so that when I import my stitch texture into Marvelous Designer to texture my 3D clothes, I could easily change the colors of the stitches, which you can only do if they are white. So I want to create a heart made out of stitches, but when I try to draw it out of my mouse, it looks really hideous. So the best way to make an accurate shape or text or design or lines of stitches is to use the pen tool. So I'm going to take my pen tool, I'll click once and drag, then I'll click again here, and then I'll click on the first point. And we get this tear shaped thing. Now I'm going to use this tool, I think it's called a mouse something or another. And then holding down Alt, I'm going to break the handles and pull out. And then let go of Alt, you don't have to click it again after you clicked it once. And then hold down Alt, you can see that plus symbol appearing by my mouse. And then just drag that out. Let's make it a bit longer, the heart. And you can play with it until you get the shape that you want. Let's just go with this for the example. So now how do we make the stitches go around the shape? Well, it's a path. So first of all, we need to go into the paths and make sure that you have the right size brush selected before you go stroking it. So you can just hit B on your keyboard or go to the brush and make sure that this is the size that you want. I'll make it a bit smaller. Something like that. And the color that you want and the opacity. I usually work at 100% opacity because then you can always change it afterwards once it's stroked in the layers. And then all you have to do is right click and say stroke path. OK. Click out. And there you've got your nice stitches going around your heart. Let's say that you want to try different kinds of stitches. Well, you can just make a new layer. Hide the one that we just made those stitches on. Take a different stitch brush. Let's see, maybe this one might be nice. Head over back into your paths, right click, stroke path, OK, and there you've got a different kind of stitches running along the same path without needing to try to draw it out again exactly the same just by using your mouse, which is rather difficult. Now I've also made some styles for my stitches, and depending on the size of the stitches, it can look quite different. So let's just make another line of stitches here. Alright, something like that, just to demonstrate how different the styles can look on different kinds of stitches and different sizes. 
And the first thing I'm going to do so that we can see the style a bit better is double click on the background layer, pattern overlay, and choose some kind of a fabric, a jeans maybe, scale it down, something like that. Then double click on my stitches layer, and I really should be naming it stitches, but... And then I've got here some styles. These are my styles, the rest are just styles I loaded in, free styles I got from online, from DeviantArt, etc. Nothing to do with my stitches. But here there are some stitch styles, and it totally depends on the kind of stitches and the size of the stitches. Some of these styles look really cool when you have very big stitches, and they look terrible on small stitches. And of course you can modify them too, change how the shadow is, how the bevel is, how the inner shadow is. They're basically meant to give it some more 3D feel, like it's standing out a bit. Here you can see there's a shadow beneath which makes it sort of stand out on top of the fabric. And here it's sort of a little bit of a shadow inside to make it sit in the fabric a bit. Here it's sort of it's a bit darker. I'll say okay. And just show you one last thing. I deleted those stitches. And now let's take our stitch more brush. I'm going to make it a bit bigger. And all these brushes, of course, can be modified. So if you go into the brush panel, we can change the spacing here to make it much tighter or to make them more spaced out between each other. So now you can see there's more of a spacing. And if I decrease the spacing, they're much tighter together. You can also change how thin the, st the stitches are or how fat and round they are by tugging at one of these dots here. So now you can see we have fat round stitches instead of those thin ones. And we can make it even something in the middle, not too fat, not too thin. And change their shape. Now you can also control the angle that they go, that they go in by moving this. And there you can see now they're all going more in an angle like that instead of straight. If you want to make absolutely straight line of stitches, the easiest thing is just to click once and hold down shift and then you get a nice straight line. So let's do that. Hold down shift, click. And by changing the angle, there you can see we have a complete different kind of an effect. make them a bit fatter. And that's basically how I made all these stitch brushes, except for these realistic ones here. These ones are actually from a picture of a seam of a stitch from a real clothing item, which I cut out and turned into a brush. The rest are actually just presets made from a simple circle. Except for these overlock ones. These are also made from an image of an overlock stitch. And they're dynamic too. Alright, so one last example I want to show you how I use these stitches to texture my marvelous designer clothing. Here's the basic default outfit that comes when you open up marvelous designer. And then what I did to make stitches go around here is I made a screenshot of this pattern. And now I'm going to load that in. So open. And it's somewhere in my messy desktop. Let's see if I can find it. There it is. And then to make a line of stitches that goes around here, or around the bottom, or around the bottom of a skirt, or on the sides of pants, or pockets, or collars, or cuffs, or wherever you need stitches, the easiest thing, instead of trying to draw them out, is again to use the pen tool. Make sure you make a new layer, so if you want to change it, it's not painted onto your background layer. And then I'm going to pull, click once, click twice and then click and drag. When you click and drag you get these handles. If you just click it makes a straight um, non-curved point. Something like that. 
then go to paths, stroke path, OK. And that was the wrong stitch, but make sure you choose the dynamic one because the dynamic one is set with shape dynamics to follow the direction of the angle jitters set to follow direction. If you don't have shape dynamics on, even if you stroke the path, you'll get a white long smudge instead of the stitches following the direction of the path. Stroke path. And that's way too big, so let's undo that and make sure we have the right size. Something like that should be good. Stroke path. Okay. And then when you want to overlay these stitches back onto your marvelous design of clothing, hide the background layer. And best if you crop it so it's not too big with too much extra space you don't need. Then hide the background layer, save that as a PNG. And then back in Marvelous Designer, click this button here, navigate to where you saved it, click once, OK. And then position it onto your garment. And there you can see we have the seams. And then you can change colors, etc. To change the look of your seams. So that's basically how to use our free Photoshop stitch brushes in Photoshop and stitch along paths to make shapes and to make different designs of stitches. I hope that helps you. And visit cgelf.com, check out our freebie section for free Photoshop stitch brushes. Um, stitch textures for Marvelous Designer. We also have some free cotton textures and free denim textures, free clothing OBJ models, and we're going to be adding many more freebies and all kinds of cool things very soon. So, see you in the next tutorial!